Hey guys. Um, well, how do I even start this? Mushrooms are kind of funny. <laughs> I saw this meme a long time ago talking about how people uh, who first ate mushrooms um, had to go through kind of like a trial and error method. And it, it said this. Uh, I'm going to read it. It says, this one tastes like beef. This one killed Brian immediately. And this one unraveled the fabric of the universe while filling my eyeballs with rainbows. <laughs> mushrooms are kind of crazy. And I know that's a weird joke, but I do have a point, I promise, okay? Tradition in the church is a lot like mushrooms. One of the things that we have seen is that people in the modern world are deconstructing. Now, if you don't know, deconstructing is like the process of challenging the faith that you were handed as a child. Generally, it's because of some big horrible thing that's happened, or a church leader has done something wrong, maybe there's institutional betrayal, or you've just been confronted with a viewpoint that you've never thought about and you don't know how to answer. And so, as, so you push and you prod at your faith, you ask questions, you seek authentic answers. Healthy deconstruction can strip away some of the frills of religion and lead us to something wonderful. But it's it's good thing. It's a good thing to explore your doubts, to ask questions, to, to genuinely search for answers. But every now and then we'll find that destruct, deconstructing arguments are not actually new ideas. People who are dealing with doubt and broken institutions, uh, we've been dealing with that since before they invented the toilet. Right? And Christians have had a lot of these arguments before, right? This is one of the values of church tradition, um, that we don't have to reinvent the wheel. If I go out and I find mushrooms in the wood, I can look it up to find out whether it's poisonous or delicious or psychedelic. And I can do that because a ton of people came before me and they have done the trial and method, trial and error method already. I pay attention to the history and to the records so I don't have to wonder about mushrooms. When people are deconstructing and they're asking questions and they're challenging their faith, I don't want them to stop. Right? I'm not trying to discourage questions, but one of the best places is to start by going back through church history. Like, have we already had this conversation? What did they think about the issue back then and can that help us grapple with the exact same question in the modern world? So if you have questions about your faith, um, or about the existence of God, or how we should live our life according to following Jesus, feel free to shoot me a message, right? Now, I'll, I'll guarantee you, I am not smart enough to... <laughs> I'm not smart enough to come up with the answers, but I do know how to go back and look through the history, right? I know how to see what other people have come up with. Church history, it is so full of horrible mistakes of the things that we have done and the mistakes we've made and the things that we have learned. And if we don't pay attention to that history, if we don't pay attention to tradition, we're going to make the same mistakes all over again. Church tradition is like mushrooms. When you find one that you have questions about, if you go look in the records, there's probably a whole pile of information to help you. Mushrooms are kind of funny like that. You guys have a good day.